this thing unboxed and all figured out. So here's the site itself. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on by holding down this button. And we got it on, but it's at the lowest setting right now. Let me turn the light off. Let's see, you can see that. And you got a second brightness setting, a third, fourth, fifth, and that's it. That's the lowest one right there. And you can obviously adjust the windage and the elevation there. And it also has this cool little chart that shows you what each turn, how much MOA it adjusts and whatnot. And another cool feature I wanted to mention with this, first off, it comes with all the tools. It comes with the CR2032 battery. It also comes with a cover which is pretty rare nowadays, especially when you're getting kind of budget optics from Amazon. So this is out of the box, ready to go, ready to mount on a Picatinny Weaver rail. And it's also able to attach to like a Glock mounting plate. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. It also goes over that in the instructions. I'm still waiting for my plate to come in the mail, so I can't show you the full process, but I will add pictures of it mounted to my Glock when that arrives in a few days to a week. So you just undo these two screws here, which this is also how you swap out the CR2032 batteries. And as you can see, they have some blue Loctite on the threads, which is an added bonus. I'm not sure if you can tell from there. Oh, there we go. And then you flip it upside down, and that just pulls off. And then from there, this would attach to your mounting plate with this cover over it like that and then you would attach the mounting plate in place of the rear sight on a Glock 17 that's what I'm going to be using and then you just screw it down to Allen screws and then you should be good to go so I'm going to do some extensive testing with this product and I'm even going to make a YouTube video on it do a in-depth review so I'll provide the link to that later on once that's all ready to go so for now it looks like pretty high quality optic for a handgun at a low price you'd be hard-pressed to find anything under a hundred dollars at a gun store let alone Amazon this one was $69.99. Seems good. I'm very impressed with it for the price, and I will keep you guys updated.